Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I am going to be cooking an organic chicken curry. Now this uh, chicken we've been uh, growing in my little village and I'm also building a little chicken hut for them to live in. So a nice little cow house, a nice little uh, chicken, hen and organic eggs etc. I'm going to show you a little bit of organic living in Bangladesh. Check this out. Me and, you. and I think to myself what a wonderful rural village life of Bangladesh lovely natural vegetation these are the cows sunbathing I built a little mini farm while I've been here nice getaway and this is the chicken that we're going to be cooking today check this out all right. He's on a piece of string because he keeps on doing a runner. Organic living, Bishnat Silat Bangladeshi style. Let's cook this baby. Right, this is the organic chicken. This is not your rooster chicken. This is quite a bit hard. Uh, this is the cock of the chicken. Cock a doodle doo. Wakes you up early in the morning. This is the offal of the chicken. All the spices are ready. My garam masala, garlic, onions, ginger, salt, and all the other ingredients. Now let's start cooking this amazing organic chicken. Oh. Let's start cooking. So I'll cook it on a high heat. This is about six tablespoons of just vegetable oil and I've added one tablespoon of pure ghee. There's a bit of water, that's why it's sizzling. Right, there's two cups of red onion. <clears throat> this is one tablespoon of ginger, three tablespoons of garlic. I like to use a lot of garlic, it brings out a fantastic flavour, and about eight green chilies. These are the garam masala, about four, bay leaf, test cutter, about one and a half inch of uh, cassia bark, which is the Indian cinnamon, about eight to ten cardamom pods. Just gonna lower the gas while I get the chicken. Right, while the onions are frying away, We're going to add the chicken. Normally I would add all the spices, cook the onions and everything. But this chicken, these are the hard chicken, these takes a long time to cook. And add a cup of water, like that too. The chicken's going to release some more water. So what I want the chicken and the onions, everything just to soften up and cook away, this process takes a long time. So we'll come back to this, put the lid on, and let this cook away for a good half an hour. But I'll check up on it every five minutes or so. I forgot to mention, Let's put some salt in. So but with one kg of chicken, I normally add a heaped teaspoon of salt. So for this, I'm adding, this is about just over one kg uh, of chicken. And I'm gonna add some potatoes to this. <clears throat> Here you go. So it's gonna need a bit more salt. So I'm adding two heat teaspoons of salt. Give that a little mix. Put the lid on and we're going to come back to this in a good half an hour but I'm going to check up on it every uh, five minutes or so. Right it's been about five minutes let's check the chicken curry. <clears throat> I 
I'm in Bangladesh. Not using my cooking utensils is quite difficult. But the methodology is still the same. So what I'm waiting for is the liquid water to reduce right down. Soften up the chicken as much as possible. You can always add a bit more water later. And then we're going to add all the spices. <clears throat> so it's been 5 minutes, 25 minutes to go. Put the lid back on and come back to it in about 5 minutes or so. Right ladies and gentlemen, this has been cooking away for a good 20 minutes. It's reduced down but the chicken is still tough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some more water. Three more cups of water. I don't like these pans, it sort of sticks. I like my cast iron karais. Cooking in a karai, it just enhances the flavour. <clears throat> so this chicken is going to be a wonderful flavour. The stock, the flavours that come out from the bone marrow is absolutely gorgeous. So Leave it on a high gas. This is going to need a further 15 20 minutes cooking. Just keep an eye on it and we'll come back to it shortly. Right, it's been a good half an hour cooking time, it's steaming away. Let's check this out. Wonderful. This chicken is very hard, it's not used, it's not like the roaster, rooster chicken, but it's very flavorful. If you cook soup style curries, stews, it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna keep it a nice little sauce, add some potatoes, and cook this wonderful chicken curry. It smells divine, lovely. Now, shortly I'm gonna add the spices. Been a good 45 minutes cooking time. Now I'm gonna add these amazing spices. Now to start off with, let's add some coriander. One, that's good. Two heat. Just a, this teaspoon is just over uh, a teaspoon, so about two good. Heat teaspoons of coriander, two heat teaspoon of chili powder, about one teaspoon of turmeric, just less, just for a bit of colour and flavour. Now this is a bit controversial. I'm cooking in Bangladesh. Why do I have curry powder? They don't have curry powder in Bangladesh. I love my curry powder, East End brand, so I bring it to Bangladesh whenever I'm cooking. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of East End. Madras curry powder. The curry powder has a lot of flavour. Um, so if you can buy a curry powder, go for it. It's very good, very flavoursome. It just enhances uh, the curry. Now we're going to add, um, sorry, first we're going to cumin. So we're going to add one teaspoon of cumin to this. Beautiful. There you go. Now we can add the garam masala. Uh, punch prawn and so on uh, to give it a bit of flavor and a bit of fragrance so I'm adding about half a teaspoon of garam masala there you go that's all the spices I've reduced the gas down because what's going to happen is the spice is going to stick to the pan this pan is not the cast iron pan it's already sticking as you can see so carefully now let's give this a stir see the water has been reduced down now that's all the seasoning done so basically I've just cooked cooked down the onions the ginger the garlic everything's cooked so it's not got that raw 
taste or smell. Now I added the spices. Now we're boonering the meat. There you go. Keep it nice and simple. Now this is two large tomatoes. Gives it a nice little thickness to the curry. Now add some water. Just one cup. Cook the spices for a bit. And then we're gonna add the potatoes. Give it a five minute cooking time with the spices, with the redux, reduced sauce. So basically it just wakes up and livens up the spices and then we're gonna add the potato and the final bit of water. So I'll put the lid back on. And let's cook this and come back to it in about five minutes. Right, it's been a few minutes since I've added the spices. Colors are looking wonderful. So there's about three small sized potatoes going in. Add some water. Got four cups of water there. Now put that heat to a medium high and we're gonna cook this for a further 15 minutes or so and then we're gonna it's gonna be time to eat while I've been cooking before the potatoes I wanted to add the offal I've forgotten it happens so I'm just adding it now should be fine added it towards the end so it stays it doesn't break and it doesn't overcook when, you, when the offal gets overcooked, it becomes rubbery. That's what I wanted to avoid. So there you go. Let's cook this for 15, 20 minutes and it should be ready to eat. been cooking away for a good one hour and 15 minutes it looks wonderful if you use Maris Piper potatoes it's about 15 minutes or so and the potatoes are cooked this is the new potatoes in Bangladesh slightly harder but it's very flavorful so it takes about a good 20-25 minutes to cook so this is just about cooked now. So the cooking time has been about one hour, 15, 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna add some coriander for a bit of flavor and garnish. There you go. Looks wonderful. Now you can taste for a bit of seasoning your salt and so on. Let's give this a little taste. There we go, wonderful colours. Smell up. Wow, that smells divine and tastes absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful. So now I'm going to turn it off and plate up. There you go ladies and gentlemen, the chicken curry in all its glory. Look at this lovely organic chicken curry, two pieces of the leg, potato, rice, garnished with coriander and green chilli. Wonderful curry. Now let's give this a taste. Right ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to try this amazing chicken curry organic chicken grown in the front garden let's give this a taste firstly the leg piece wow 
I'm going to have to show you a close-up of this. This is delicious. It's red meat. So it's not tender and soft. It's a bit hard, but it's very flavorful. Potatoes falling apart. Andata. Check that out. Delicious. Wonderful flavors, wonderful taste. Very simple cooking. Wonderful chicken curry. Finger licking chicken. Organic chicken grown at home. Lovely flavors. It takes a long time to cook, but it's very flavorful. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and show me some support. Five million years, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world.